We all live on different places in this world, but we're all connected by water and nature. The world is facing a climate crisis and a biodiversity crisis. The heart of the solution for both of these problems is nature. Landscape architects design with nature so we can keep communities cool, safe, and healthy. As landscape architects, we prepare all kinds of communities to adapt for a different and promising future. So let's design with nature so we can achieve a sustainable, resilient, and bountiful future for everyone. It is the only way we can solve our problems and, as you will see, provide so many other important benefits at the same time. Extreme heat poses a big risk to our health and well-being, and kids can be especially vulnerable. High temps can also make it difficult to focus on studies. Communities of color are more exposed to heat islands due to lack of trees and green space. The Cook Academy project is part of the Space to Grow initiative, which transforms overlooked schoolyards into green spaces for students and the surrounding community. Replacing asphalt, which gets hot, with green space means we can absorb rainwater, this creates a cooler environment. Phoenix is the hottest large city in the country. Temperatures are as high as 118 degrees. Last summer was the hottest, with twice as many days over 110 degrees as the average. The city of Phoenix is building a network of shade structures and trees to provide life-saving shade to the people in our city. Our goal is that everyone has enough shade to be able to walk safely on the streets of Phoenix. So Graffiti Pier is a five acre site on the Delaware River in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, that's really important to the history and culture of graffiti as an art form. When the project started, a lot of graffiti writers and street artists were upset. They didn't want anything to happen. And when we shared with them the ways in which the site is vulnerable to rising tides and increased storm surge, the project really reveals the ways in which the places that we love have to change in order to endure and be resilient in a changing climate. The city of Sanya in South China's Hainan Island is influenced by monsoon climate. It suffers the most of climate change, flood and drought. So right in the middle of the city, we created a about one square kilometer size urban park. By simple cut and fill, we create hundreds of islands of a lake functioning like a green sponge that can regulate over a million cubic meter of storm water. Climate change has made certain soils much drier, and as cities have expanded, people have moved into these high-risk areas. The frequency and magnitude of extreme wildfires has doubled over the past two decades making wildfire and the smoke it produces one of the fastest growing global challenges of our time. Playbook for the Pyrocene translates findings from the last 30 years of our work in California and the latest science from multiple disciplines into strategies for communities. We are now able to see which urban design and landscape architecture approaches are the most impactful in adapting to wildfire. I grew up in Detroit, Michigan. I can remember some of the most fun was riding my bike or running to the park with friends. And then I think about the opportunity we have with green pathways to connect neighborhoods and make them more vibrant. That's something I'm really proud to see happen in my city, Detroit, Michigan, with the DeQuinder Cut and the Joe Louis Greenway that are transforming a vision like that into reality. We've converted old railroads into scenic trails and we're reducing car use, we're lowering greenhouse gas emissions, and we're revitalizing communities. Now, you see families jogging, cyclists commuting, and even businesses thriving along these lush, safe routes. Transportation emissions are high due to the heavy reliance on personal vehicles, which contribute to approximately 29% of total greenhouse gas emissions in the U.S. 
in the space of Jackson Street, we repurposed a travel lane and a parking lane with not only a 12 foot wide bikeway, but a better pedestrian realm and generous planting space. More and more communities are looking toward what I'd call a 2.0 version, where we create a bicycling environment that is truly enjoyable. Human beings depend on a biodiverse planet for our survival. Tidal marshes are some of the most valuable biodiverse ecosystems on Earth and some of the most threatened. Chrissy Field restored 40 acres of tidal marsh and dune habitat and reintroduced native plants, birds, and fish to the site. This awe-inspiring landscape, it's urban landscape next to a major city, also draws over one million people each year who experience its many natural wonders and its educational and recreational opportunities. With 3.6 billion people already living in unsafe areas, the climate and biodiversity crises will eventually affect us all. Nature-based solutions to these challenges are important because they provide environmental, social, and economic benefits. We can design to remove carbon, protect our communities from flooding, heat, and drought, and provide habitat. These strategies are at the core of what landscape architects do. With this vision, we inspire communities to act, and together we are creating a path to a more sustainable future.